Hello, and welcome to story time. Guess what? The library is open. The library is open, so you can come and check out books now. Isn't that exciting? But we're still going to keep doing our story times digitally for now because we don't want anyone to get sick. But I am so excited to start seeing some of you in the library again. It looks a little bit different now. Let's see. We've got easy readers. We've got some picture books. And let's see what we've got over here. Oh, it's some of the story times we've been having this summer. We talked about dragons because our summer reading theme was Imagine Your Story about fairy tales. The other week we talked about the beach and going to the beach and how much fun that is. And look, here's what we're talking about for story time today. What is that? What is that we're talking about? We're talking about sharks. Ooh. That seems like it's going to be an awesome story time, so let's get to it. But first, we've got to start with our story time song. Hands go up. Hands come down. I can turn myself around. I can stand on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. Let's sit down, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. It's time for story time. Okay, it's time for story time. And like I said today, we are talking about sharks. Have you ever seen a shark swimming in the ocean? I sure hope you haven't. Maybe you've seen pictures of one or video of one. But I sure wouldn't want to meet a shark swimming in the ocean in person. I'd be a little bit scared. Because sharks can be kind of dangerous. It's not an animal that you really want to meet, but it's an animal that's a lot of fun to read stories about. And that's what we're going to do today. We are reading a story about a shark. And our story is called The Three Little Fish and the Big Bad Shark. The Three Little Fish and the Big Bad Shark. Now this is a story that might sound familiar to you. It might sound like maybe another story that you've heard, but maybe with a little bit different characters. So you'll have to listen for when we read the story to see if it sounds like another story you might have heard. Heard. But you know me, I like to wonder before I read my stories. So let's look at our book and let's wonder. We've got three little fish and uh-oh, they're being chased by a shark! I bet they're probably a little bit scared. I would be scared if I was being chased by a shark. But will they escape the shark? I guess we'll just have to read our story and find out. The Three Little Fish and the Big Bad Shark. We've got our three little fish. And there's our shark. Once upon a time, there lived a mama fish and her one, two, three little fish named Jim, Tim, and Kim. 
It is now time, said the mama, for each of you to make a home in the deep blue sea. And so off they went. Got our three little fish, and there's mama fish. The first little fish, named Jim, swam away and met a seahorse playing in some seaweed. <gasps> can I have some of that seaweed so I can build a house? And the seahorse said, sure, take as much as you can carry. And so Jim the fish gathered up the seaweed and made a weedy little house. There's his weedy little house. Do you think that looks like a good house to live in? I don't know, maybe if you're a fish. Jim had just finished building the seaweed house when he heard the big bad shark knocking at the door. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. The little fish trembled and replied, Not by the skin on my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll smash your house in, roared the shark. Uh-oh. The shark is after the little fish. So the big bad shark munched. And he crunched. And he ate up every bit of the seaweed house. And Jim swam away just in time. Oh no! He ate up the whole house. What's he gonna do? Soon Jim found his brother Tim and said, Tim said, don't worry Jim, we fish stick together. You can help me build a sandy little house. Huh, they're gonna build a house out of sand. They made a sand castle. Is that going to be a better house than the house of seaweed? Let's find out. Jim and Tim had just started to relax in the sandy little house when the big bad shark came knocking at the door. <coughs> little fish, little fish, let me come in. To which the brave little fish replied, not by the skin of my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll smash your house in, roared the shark. Uh-oh. Do you think the shark isn't going to smash the house? So the big bad shark munched and he crunched and he caught a mouth of sand and the house crumbled. Jim and Tim swam and swam and swam, swam away, swam away, swam away. Oh no, the shark destroyed the second house too. And finally, they reached their sister, Kim. Kim was setting up her house in an old wooden ship. And they swam up to her and they said, Kim, big bad shark destroyed our houses. But Kim said, don't worry, you can live with me. And so they did. What do you think? Is the ship 
going to be a better house than the sand or the seaweed? I don't know. Let's see. The three little fish had just finished lunch when they heard the big, bad shark knocking at their door. <coughs> little fish, little fish, let me come in. To which the smart fish replied, Not by the skin of my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch, and I'll crunch, and I'll smash your house in, Rawr, roared the shark. Oh, not again! Do you think the shark is going to be able to scratch their house? Let's see. The big bag shark munched. And he crunched. <laughs> but he couldn't smash the house in. Huh. And you know what? He tried so hard that all of his shark teeth fell out. Oh my goodness! He's a shark with no teeth! And the three little fish were safe at last. What do you think? Do you think they look pretty happy? I think they look pretty happy. They beat the shark! They outsmarted him by finding a house that he couldn't smash. Good job, little fish. Way to go. Well, that was the story of the three little fish and the big bad shark. Did it sound like a story that you know? What story did it sound like? It sounded to me like the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. I love that story and I loved this version of the story with a shark and the three little fish. I loved that story so much but sometimes I have trouble. You see there are just so many fish in the ocean and sometimes I don't know what to look out for. I don't know what kind of fish is a shark and what kinds of fish are other fish. There are just so many fish. Do you think you can help me? Can you help me figure out what's a shark and what's a different kind of fish? Let's go. I see a fish that is small, orange, and white, and lives in a sea anemone. Is this a shark? No, it's not a shark. It's a clownfish. I see an animal that is large and lives in a hard shell and uses its arms and legs to swim. Is this a shark? No, it's not a shark. It's a sea turtle. I see an animal that's large and flat, and it has a sharp, pointy tail. Is this a shark? No, it's not a shark. It's a manta ray. I see an animal that is small and brown and white, with lots of feathery fins that stick up around its body. Is this a shark? No, it's not a shark. It's a lionfish. I see an animal that is soft and squishy. It doesn't have any arms or legs, but it might sting you. Is this a shark? No, it's a jellyfish. I see an animal 
that is long and striped and has no arms, legs, or fins. Is this a shark? No, it's not a shark. It's an eel. I see an animal that is large and gray. It is very smart and loves to play. Is this a shark? No, it's not a shark. It's a dolphin. I see an animal that is large and gray with fins on its sides and top and lots and lots of sharp teeth. Is this a shark? Yes, it is. We found a shark. Look at them go. We found our shark. But you know what that means. It's time for a shark song. Let's go. Okay, it is time for our story time song. Do you know a song about a shark? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know one. It's called Baby Shark. Do you know Baby Shark? Well, if you don't, there are some moves that go along with Baby Shark that we're going to go over. First off, we have a Baby Shark. So we need your first two fingers, and you're going to make a little Baby Shark mouth. And then we have Mama Shark. And Mama Shark's a little bit bigger, so we make her with our hands. And then there's a daddy shark, and he's a really big daddy shark, so we use our arms for him. And then there's grandma shark. Grandma shark is kind of like mama shark, but she's got a little grandma mouth. And then grandpa shark is kind of like daddy shark, and a little bit bigger. And our song tells a story. And in our story, we're going to go looking to see what sort of fish we can find. We're going to look around, and we're going to spot a shark. So we're going to use our shark fins. And guess what? We don't want to get eaten by the shark, so we're going to swim away. We're going to swim, 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 swim. Whew. And then we're safe because we outswam the shark. Thank goodness we outswam that shark. We don't want to get eaten. Are you ready? It's time for Baby Shark. <laughs> Great week, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.